Hey, what's going on YouTube family? Today I'm doing another range test with the DJI 03 system, which I've got installed in a Diatone Roma L5 frame. I've also got a Speedy B F745 all-in-one with Blue Jay firmware set to 48 kHz on the ESCs. I've also got a Happy Model EP1 ELRS receiver and an HG LRC M80 GPS. The goal today is to try to reach three miles out before turning around. So we'll see how that goes. One change I made from my previous range test where I hit 1.99 miles was to change the packet rate on my Radio Master Zorro to 50 Hertz. I read that's better for range, so we'll see if that makes a big difference. I forgot to mention I'm using a 4S 2600 milliamp hour lithium ion battery pack for this flight. And I'm going to try to keep my speed reasonable as it's sitting right about freezing outside right now. So don't want the battery to run out. So far, just a nice uneventful cruise here. You know, nothing really going on, managing my speed, my altitude. I kind of would have liked to have gone more towards that beautiful sunset, but I also needed to avoid some areas for safety reasons. So kind of just cruising along here, you know, 3,200 feet, 3,300 feet, just having a good little flight here. So really happy so far with what's going on. Video signal strength is four bars, 50 megabits per second. So happy about that as well from a video signal standpoint. Little blip right there in my signal strength and my link quality. And now it's going crazy here. Don't know what is going on right there. I kind of been fiddling with my antenna a little bit on my Zorro, but as you can see, it's kind of struggling. And I don't know if that's because there's something right there or not. You can see it kind of bounced up and then kind of <clears throat> down again, back up here now. It's pretty strong. My guess is there's something there interfering and I won't know till I maybe fly that way again, which I hope to do here in the future because it's a great place for me to fly. Still kind of fluctuating a little bit. And again, I don't know why, you know, I've been further than this already. I've gone two point or two miles, I guess, not really past two miles. And here I'm only at a mile and a quarter. Thought about turning around because you can see it's all over the place but going still and just trusting that my fail safe settings will work if I need them. Uh, you can see here, it's kind of bounced back up to around 90, you know, fluctuating in the, in the 90s. I know it has to be a lot lower for it to be a real problem. So battery voltage still looking good, not really dropping much or anything. One and a half miles out, 15 satellites. So all looking pretty good right now so far. I'm still thinking that maybe there was something going on back there because now I'm further out and link quality for now is rock solid at 100. I'm well, 1.7 miles out. I've sped up a little bit. Probably not the best, but my battery voltage is staying really nice and solid. It's a little dip again in my link quality and then a lot of RX loss. Look at that, 25, although I still had control. So I don't really know what was going on there. I do think that I may need to move my antenna for my receiver. It's on the right front arm. I kind of had a habit of putting them there, but I'm not sure that's the best place. So we'll see, but here's my strength, still okay, and two miles. So my previous best with this system was 1.99 miles before I had to turn around. So still going really well. Battery voltage looking great. Got a lot of voltage to get back, I think. Uh, I actually now re-watching this, I'm surprised I didn't turn around sooner. So back up to 100 on the link quality. Really happy there. Not sure why it drops in the places it does unless something's interfering. So I'm going pretty straight. So I do know the further out I go, the more that that antenna being up front there is in line with me. So I don't know if that could be an issue and maybe I should move it to the very front on the nose or maybe I'd put it on the back, but I think that that would be a problem when I turn around. Anyway, you can comment down below and maybe let me know what you think about that and antenna placement. So here we are, two and a half miles, still going strong. 
One thing you should notice, I forgot to mention this earlier, down at the bottom right, storage full. So about, I had like four minutes of video, I believe, before that filled up. I forgot to clear it from some earlier flights I was doing today. So a little bummed about that. So it is what it is. Look at that beautiful sunset. Kind of, as I've gone on, it's gotten more in view, which is pretty awesome. Again, a little bummed that I don't have that nice 4K footage of it. But can't complain because it still looks pretty good for the goggle view. So here we are at 2.8, 2.85 miles out. And my signal strength, my link quality is still pretty good. I mean, point in the 8s, you know, 80s and the 90s, I think that's great. I can't remember what you're supposed to be at or what's too low. So we're about to hit three miles and things are gonna go sideways here really quick. I'll just warn you now. I decide three miles to turn and RX loss. Oh, and video loss. So remember when I said my receiver antenna is on the right arm? I believe that I probably blocked it completely. So one of my biggest complaints about this system is you notice the jump in video and I'm returning is that when you lose signal, it does not start re-recording. I noticed it as I was almost all the way back, so I decided to go into the menu of the goggles and manually start recording. So that's a little frustrating that I don't have the return flight, but I was pretty excited to hit 3.1, 3. whatever miles. I'll have to go back and look now that I'm saying that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this really long flight test um, one other thing, and maybe some people have some ideas, but when I turned and I lost video at the exact same time, I'm kind of wondering if these O3 air unit antennas are just so short that when you turn around, the battery is blocking it completely. So I do have a couple longer antennas, so I'm going to dual antenna this up and see if that'll help. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.